Hi, this is Nature for you. We are right now in Tromsø, North Norway, and I would like to share with you our experience in this journey. I will share with you which activities we did, where did we book them, how much we paid for them, the good things and the bad things from every of the activities, and we rate them also from 1 to 5 stars. The first adventure I want to share with you is when we went to the night reindeer sledding with dinner. We paid 1,700 knocks per person, which is approximately 164 euros. It was four hours in total and we rated with the maximal rating with five stars from five stars. It was amazing. You can find below in the description the link of the website where we book it. The company brings you to the reindeer camp where we were surrounded by reindeers. We went directly to the sledding part, which is not as fast as I expected, but it was very fun. We were allowed to feed them and I tried, but when you feed them, they get a little bit too excited and I get scared. So I decided just to walk around them and pet them. After making sure that we pet all of them, we went inside the Sami hood to take some dinner. First we got warm with hot chocolate and some cookies, then they brought us the dinner. And I cannot stretch that enough, it was the best food we ate in the entire journey. The Sami people also explained us everything about their culture, how they treat the reindeers, how do they move with the reindeers, we even sang together their songs. It was an incredible experience. I will never forget this day. We also went to see the whales. We paid 1,750 knocks, which is again approximately 160 euros per person. This was a longer trip, seven hours, and we gave them three and a half stars. We went by boat to amazing places and we saw a lot of orcas, even one whale, which was very far away, so I could not see it, but orcas, we saw plenty of them. You will find that, that at the beginning of the journey, everybody will be outside the boat making pictures, so you will feel a bit overcrowded, but they will start getting cold and going slowly, slowly inside the boat. So at the end, after one hour, they will be all inside the boat and you will be alone. So just be patient, get warm clothes. This is very important. You can find another video where I describe what I was wearing. So if you wanna take a look, those clothes worked for the seven hours, feel free to check it out. Oh boy, and the boat. The boat was small, so it moved a lot. It was very scary. In many of the activities in this journey, we thought, okay, we may die today. Prepare for the adventures. We also went with the lift to the mountain, Fjellhaisen, and we paid 345 knocks per person, so around 32 euros. This was not a guided activity, we went by ourselves, and we rate it with 3.5 stars. From above that mountain, you can see the entire city of Tromsø, which is wonderfully pretty. Below you will find a lot of people, so just recommend it to go up, up, up as much as you can to contemplate the views by yourself.
You can go to the mountain with dogs, but I would say they should be used to this because there are not too much protections between the safe area and the cliff. So I believe this dog was pretty comfortable and it was not the first time. Just be careful. The weather can also go crazy from this video to this other one was like some minutes in between so be careful maybe bring some light or some reflector i don't know be, be careful again we thought we may die in every of the activities the next activity is when we went with a minibus to see the fjords we paid 1200 knocks per person around 110 euros it was in total five hours and we rated it with three stars we met in one hotel and then we went with the mini bus which was super small again mini bus and the windows were like this so we saw practically nothing in the journey which was very long and then we got super bad luck because we were able to see nothing. The weather was very cloudy, so I hope you get less clouds. But don't worry because weather is crazy, as we saw in the, in the previous activity. And it changed very fast from very cloudy to very not cloudy. <laughs> so we felt super happy. I did not expect to see those amazing views. I thought they were kind of photoshopped, but no, they are that pretty. We also got some food, a sandwich which was actually very delicious. Maybe because we were super hungry, I don't know. But the views were amazing. We saw even those things for the salmons where they uh, cultivate the salmons and a farm with very old houses. And again, the weather changed again to very cloudy. The next activity I want to share with you is when we went with a boat to see the Northern Lights. We paid 990 knocks per person, which is around 91 euros, and it was a total of 4 hours. We rate it as 2 stars from 5, and I will tell you why. This boat was bigger, which made it easier for the journey because it didn't move that much. And it had a jacuzzi, which we didn't know. <laughs> but apparently other people knew because they brought the bikini. Be aware that it will be the entire journey at night, which again means cold, but also very dark. For us, it was a bit complicated to see the auroras because we didn't go very far away from the city and we still had a little bit of the pollution of the city, a little bit of those clouds. But at the very end of the journey, we saw for about one and a half minutes a very light aurora. And I will say that if you want pictures, actively say so. Because from the entire group, only two more couples and us cat pictures. Also nobody said there were auroras outside so we were the ones actually spotting them. Again it's very important you bring warm clothes so you are able to be outside the boat the entire time hunting the auroras. And the last activity I want to share with you is when we went to the aurora safari with a minibus. As you may have seen, we gave it half star and we wanted to give it even less than that, but let's say half star would be fine just because the driver was very good driver. Uh, we paid 
1990 Nox, which will be 183 euros per person, very expensive for what it is, 7 hours in total, and the goal was to see the auroras far away from the city. And this picture that you see is actually one picture that we did when we went four or five days in a cabin. What we saw actually in this activity was this. Well, to be honest, the weather was very bad as you can see, but they also did not cancel. We sent an email, they answered, the weather is okay, we don't cancel. So we thought, okay, they know better than us. Well, they may not know at all. So we went to a journey of one hour in the minibus and then we reached a beach, not outside the city, because we saw a lot of houses, we saw pollution of the city that's it even if i don't say please can you take a picture we will not even have a professional picture of the day so for five hours sitting in a bench i will rather tell you just do it by yourself we were not even outside the city so i mean i can understand that they like they just don't cancel any of those tours but oh, somebody needs to write reviews of those I froze, I sat on a bonfire, I was constantly smoke in your eyes, totally worked. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun, 200 euros. You can do it too. And the whole drive to a spot, somewhere on a different neighborhood, a little bit outside, still on a neighborhood. There were like a couple of houses with light. I thought like pollution is bad. No, it's okay. If you pay 200 euros, it gets okay. <laughs> For a professional team, they do this all, all day, every day. If you don't want to end up with those faces, let me give you some tips that we discovered after two weeks in Tromsø or Tromsø hunting the auroras. I will do a video for it. But as a quick spoiler alert, go outside the city. Get lost. You can also book the activities related to the auroras closer to the date so you can check the weather. With this we end the explanation of all the activities we did in the first week of Tromsø. If you want to know more things about the city, like for example how much the food costs or the restaurants or which clothes to wear, even the transport to take and how to take them, feel free to check the other videos of the channel. See you next time!